guys welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna to do a rundown video on everything that we use to tow doubles we've got the uh, four freight liner connected to the 2012 Heartland Road Warrior and then we tow the flat tow the uh, the 89 Bronco 2 behind it so if we start right here with the with the truck it's a 2004 Freightliner Columbia single axle road tractor. It's got a uh, C13 Caterpillar, it's an Acer motor, and the, it has a uh, Eaton 10 speed. We converted the uh, sleeper to a passenger. We put some Ford Transit seats in there and made it to where uh, five people can ride back there with seat belts. And on this truck we have a commercial fifth wheel there's a lot of uh back and forth and a different different opinions and stuff on the commercial fifth wheel the biggest being that there's no left to right pivot this uh for my application i chose to go with it with the commercial fifth wheel because uh, once in a while i borrow a uh, equipment trailer to move heavier equipment for myself personally private use and uh, it's just I, some some stuff is a little bit too heavy for my gooseneck and no more than I need it I just borrow one and the air brakes and the, the fifth wheel works out in that application the kingpins are the same on these fifth wheel campers as they are on a um, like a uh, regular commercial trailer. The kingpins don't go up in size until you get up up to the uh, the uh, heavy heavier hauling type stuff. If you notice, there's not really a lot of grease on the top surface of this fifth wheel, and that's because I run these. Um, these lube discs and most people do when they're pulling like this now the only part that I grease is the jaws I put enough grease not too much because you're just wasting it if you put a bunch of grease on there and the first time you hook it up it just all falls out but I grease the kingpin and I put some grease inside the fifth wheel on the jaws and that's all it needs and this Husky brand has been about the best uh, lube disc that I've found. This is a triple bench and a double bench, so that makes five passenger. All have seat belts. These tracks come out of a Ford Transit van, and I bolted them down with uh, five eighths bolts underneath the uh, all the way through the floor and underneath, and I put some. Uh, really big washers on the bottom and I tore out everything the the bunk in here you know, it had the uh, fabric the cloth on the walls tore all that out used linoleum and Luon as a uh, new wall covering then these these windows come out of a uh, camper and I cut those out and put windows in on each side I made this little uh, thing right here and we put a uh, we put a tablet in here for the kids to they download some stuff off of Netflix and watch it while we're traveling or if you know we got signal we can use a Wi-Fi hotspot and they can stream but uh, yeah just a simple simple little setup back here so I've got the uh, p3 to concha brake controller i'm not sure how you pronounce that but this has so far been my favorite brake controller uh it's all digital has several different settings on it has a uh boost right here that you can just push a button and turn it off you can adjust your level and that's how how aggressive the brakes are you adjust your power you know exactly what you've got <clears throat> I really like the digital feature on this 
Uh, it has several other settings that I'm not even familiar with, but you can change the color right here to match the color of your uh, in, interior dash lights. Um, but yeah, the, as far as the brake controller goes, I had to do some wiring on that because a, uh, a road tractor is not wired the same as a pickup. Uh, you can't just tie into your plug on the back and everything work. Um, so I ran, I had to run a power wire to the back for my, to charge my breakaway battery, which, you know, on, on the camper, they use uh, the regular, the regular battery. So I had to run one wire for that and I put a one-way diode in that and I fused it. So the one-way diode stops that battery on the camper from feeding back to the truck. So that's how I wired that part. So I had to run another power wire out of this brake controller all the way to the back to my pigtail to uh, operate the brakes. And then everything else, I was able to just tie it right into the lights. I spliced into the harness and uh, connected to you know your your parking lights and your your turn signals and brakes and all. Um, so that's the brake controller. That if you decide to go this route, you'll have to uh, do a little work on that. I wish I would have filmed it, but I wasn't really doing a lot of youtube at the time i've got a uh, backup camera right here and this is tied into the power there's power up here for like a cb radio and stuff so i tied the power into that for this and it only works when the uh, keys on or an accessory you can turn it off and on and then it's also on the camper the camera gets its power from the parking lights so you have to turn your at least turn your parking lights on to get any signal. So that way I can monitor the Bronco. Just keep an eye on my hitch. Alright, so we move on back to the back of the camper. This is a custom built hitch for this camper. So it's got uh, three 5 8 bolts right here. Two that goes into the actual I-beam frame. And one that goes into this piece of channel similar to this the back bumper of the camper and it's this is tapped and threaded so i run a bolt up into this on each side and then i drilled and tapped it right here and put two more 5 8 grade 8 bolts right here to give it a little bit of uh middle support and it's got safety chains so that's pretty much it on this now this is just a four-way trailer plug tied right into the lights on the camper all right so there's a little bit of a story on this hitch uh this is not the hitch i started out with but it worked out for the better in my opinion i had a harbor freight hitch and i've done a review on that and i've also um also have a video of me hooking that hitch up to the camper but I won't go into that. I'll put a link to uh, that video right here. But this is the um, Roadmaster Stowmaster. I guess it's the Stowmaster 5000 made by Roadmaster. And I really like this hitch. I bought it, I bought it used. Uh, it was on a Jeep Grand Cherokee, I believe. But I like it because it folds up, stays on the truck, and it comes with a carrying bag to keep a lot of the dirt off of it. But it's really nice also because you don't have to be perfect. You see how far off I am? So what I can do is press these buttons in and the hitch will move. Enough to connect, and the, 
the uh, instructions say just to connect it like that hook up your safety chains and your uh, breakaway and all that stuff your lights and when you pull off these pins once it, it fully extends these pins will automatically lock in so I really like that that it made hooking up a lot easier and I use the cables I kind of like the cables some people don't but you always cross any safety change you cross them so we're gonna hook that and these are connected to the frame underneath the bumper and then I do have a brake controller on this because it's over 3,000 pounds just barely it's about 30 31 3200 pounds so I've got my breakaway connected I've got this plug made right here right here on the front I've got a uh, the female plug just like what we're doing on the back four-way round female plug and I plug it in right here then we go up and over that to keep it off the road and I added a full way and a seven way in case I'm pulling something so I don't have to have an adapter that has a seven way plug if I'm pulling this Bronco so then I just plug this in right here All that's left is uh, the uh, brake control brake box. This is the uh, Patriot Blue Ox. Now, I bought this because I found it at a good price on Facebook Marketplace. I would have went with probably any brand, but uh, so far this has worked out really good. The, I don't need the brakes, a uh, brake assist on the Bronco. The biggest reason that I need this is for the breakaway feature. And when that pin's pl pulled in the front for the, the breakaway cable, when that pin's pulled, it sends a signal to this and it automatically applies the brakes on the Bronco. So just for uh, you know safety and all of that stuff, I went with this breakaway or this brake box for the breakaway feature. Uh, but it's got this little claw that just kind of clamps right over the uh, brake pedal and then this is it's not an air or it's not a uh, hydraulic it's all electric it has a servo inside and it's like a uh, inertia switch so that when it feels you hit the brakes there's no signal coming back here it feels you, it feels everything start to slow down and it starts applying the brakes on your tow vehicle like i said it's got a gain right here so like like i was saying when i put this in i turn the gain to zero because i don't want it applying the brakes on the bronco i don't need it um, because of the the truck has enough brakes and then the triaxle camper i've never felt the need to where i needed brakes truck has a jake brake so it's not a problem but this just sets right in here you, you've got adjustments right here you adjust that up and down to fit the uh, the front of your seat right here around the contour of that you put this in you run your seat back and forth until this is just tight you don't want it pushing the brake pedal but just just enough then you uh, turn it on hit set up It'll, it'll cycle through three times, press the brakes, and then release, and then it's ready to go. You set your game. Now, this came with a uh, wireless remote that is in the truck, and I can adjust the gain. I can, uh, it's like a brake controller. It's got a little slide on it where I can uh, just hit the brakes on the, the Bronco if I need to, uh, which I've never, never used it. Um, and it's also it also has a status on it you know it tells you if tells you that your controllers on 
tells it that the breakaway is plugged in. When the breakaway plug, you plug in the breakaway switch, it's got a light that comes up, and so does the remote up front. And then uh, it tells you any time that this is drawing brakes, and uh, then there's an error. I've never had the error to come up. But. So that's our brake controller, and that's what we use. Like I said, I'll, if I'd have found another brand, like the, uh, the Brake Buddy or something, I would have probably went with it. I looked into some air uh, controllers since the uh, some of the RVs, the big motorhomes that are air brake, you can get an air brake brake controller, and you just connect it to the uh, the tractor or the uh, in my case the tractor air brakes, but then you connect it to the motorhomes air brakes. And it's and it's a proportioned airflow. So when you hit the brakes on the tractor, it's just like pulling an air brake trailer. It applies an air servo inside that mounts into the brake pedal and, and controls it that way. That would have been really nice, but they're real expensive. And uh, then you have to buy the breakaway for that separate. So we just went with that. Got a good deal. And as far as the lights go, you can get... Um, like through e-trailer, you can get just about any plug-and-go kit to add lights to the front, a, a light plug to the front of your um, to the front of your tow vehicle. I just went with some of the uh, trailer wire. You can get this at Walmart and put a uh, four-way plug on it. My Bronco had a trailer hitch plug right here. I ran that four wire up to the front and tied it into that plug. It's just simple as that. I did, although I, I, I did have to come in here, take these out, and I put a diode on each uh, brake signal light, brake slash signal, because what I found was when we were going down the road, if the brakes were apl got applied on the Bronco, I, what I, what happened was, I actually had this happen, I had the um, brake controller, the Blue Ox Patriot, sitting in the floorboard, but it was the seat was too far up, and there wasn't enough give, so when we'd hit a bump, it was hitting the brake lights. Well, when the brake lights would come on on the Bronco, it was back feeding up to the front and applying the brakes on the camper so I couldn't figure out what was going on we would we would hit a bump in the road and, and everything would act like the brakes was dragging so come to find out that's what the problem was um, so I just just for safety uh, so that that don't happen again I come in and put a diode here and here so that it won't back feed out through this pigtail back to the front and after that, no, no more problems. I guess that's about it. That's all the gear we use, all the um, equipment that we use to tow and to tow safely. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you hadn't already, go down and subscribe. We sure would appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.